Well, hello creative birdies, I'm back. It is actually the next day and you're going to hear in the background um, girls screaming, dogs misbehaving, uh, husband might come in and interrupt, all sorts of real life things at this point. It's late, it's Friday. Um, it's not that late, but it's late, and it's Friday, and everybody's home doing their own thing, or doing things together, and Jackie has her friends over. I just sat down, and we're going to finish off some of these cards, and answer some comments. And also, uh respond to some comments today. I've got really, really nice ones. I have some nice comments from um, old friends from when I first started my channel. Let's see. And I know that that's Lori. That's one of them. And I'm referring to the last video I just put up. I was over visiting Kelly Donovan's channel. If you don't know who Kelly Donovan is, head on over to Kelly Donovan Knittings and Things, her YouTube channel. Um, trying to go into my community settings. I see that I have some that are in held for review, so I'm going to check those out. Okay, I see who that is. All right. Rocky Road Creations. She says, "I loved your I loved your bird so much. I have spent the whole evening out in my studio painting with you. It's so fun." And it feels like I have a friend with me. That, that's amazing. Thank you for telling me that because that's that's my goal. That's my goal is to f make you guys and help you guys f imagine and feel that I'm sitting right next to you and that I'm in your home or that you're in my home and that we're just creating together. She says it's so fun and it feels like I have a friend with me. My bird postcard came out pretty darn good. Oh, that's so good. That's amazing. I just need to figure out how to make my bird pop. Um, how to make your bird pop. Just keep going until you feel that your bird is done. And don't be afraid to use the most um, surprising colors with your bird. And also remember, always remember you guys, that the colors are very dull once they dry but as soon as you put a triple thick varnish on top of your postcards or paintings, canvases your colors pop out dramatically like it's a drastic change because I had struggled with it until I figured out that technique for myself and then she says Maybe he just feels like blending in. That's another thing. Maybe he does feel like blending in. So maybe you would just, if he, if you're happy with him the way he looks or she looks, your bird I'm talking about, leave it as is, if, as long as it makes you happy. And then move on to your next postcard or canvas or art journal and see what it comes out of that. Thank you for keeping me company tonight. Hugs to you, Diana. Well, hugs right back to you, Diana. Thank you. And then Lottie's been with me for years. Lottie Faith. Um, I think Lottie Faith, her mother-in-law and mother or neighbor, um, all three of them own a piece of my postcard art. All these postcards are uh, a symbol of my soul, my heart and my feelings and my art. Lodi says, I remember when you first got honey, which I was mentioning in the last video. She says, and you weren't sure if you wanted to keep her because you'd never, you've never really been around cats. Um, now honey rules. It's true. <laughs> uh, it's true. And I was actually raised with cats. 
I was raised with cats, but we were a family of, I think, six or seven, so that one cat belonged to all of us. So she wasn't just my responsibility. I was raised with cats, dogs. We had a random chicken here and there. Um, uh, we'd ha we've had, uh, I raised my kids with iguanas, um, lizards, hamsters, mice, all that good stuff. Okay, so she says, uh, for help with your kitty, look at Honey when she's sitting facing you straight on. That's very true. She says she has six cats outside, all rescues that they had. She got all fixed, and one inside cat. One inside hub. One is the inside is my hubby's therapy cat. He used to have anxiety problems, and she would always climb on his chest or his lap when he was having problems. That's so nice. Honey does that to me, and she knows when to do that to me. Um, let's see. Hmm. He would get into the strangest positions in his chair, so <laughs> he wouldn't have to move her. Her name is Jasmine. I always said, why don't you just move her? <laughs> she is an inside cat because she has feline AIDS and she has lost tons of weight. That's so sad. Now she sits on me and curls up into the tiniest ball and sit, and I sit half on one booty cheek with my leg over the arm of my chair and my knees up around my neck. <laughs> and he says, oh, why don't you just move her? That's hilarious. They snuggle in and look so comfy that it's just too hard to move them. I agree. I really like your doggy postcard and the apple. <laughs> All of them are gorgeous, but those are my favorite. Um, that's, let's see. We'll go through them. It, it might look like an apple, but it's actually a heart. With a, it's an apple too at the same time, right? I can live with an apple. Let's see. I want to finish these up, but I also want to share with you guys what they're looking like at this point. And I want to also see if any of you guys had any suggestions on this one here. Because I did ask for your guys' suggestions to see if you guys had any ideas. Let's see. Yeah, what's up with the weather? She says, oh, I got a mosquito. I got it. Look. Um, Penny Trousdale says, hey, Sigrid, what is up with the weather? I'm in Mon Monitoba, Canada. It even snowed in Hawaii. Love your cards. Thank you. Oh, yeah, I like doing the... Um, the cards, the um, surprise cards, where you pick a card and it has um, a prompt on it, prompt surprise cards. Yeah, I love doing those two Rocky Road creations. Oh. Okay, who else? <laughs> Christy says, Pixie needs soggy glasses if she doesn't understand that Panini is warning her. Laughing my A off dogs anyways. Mine's a brat. She won't she won't eat her dog food without a banana or something in it. Oh. We'll send our dogs to doggy doggy school. <laughs> oh, I love the angel fairy postcard. I only say that cuz angels are usually represent re represented with bird-like wings. And fairies have butterflies or even dragon fly wings. I also love the sketch over the drawn line, so I love your style. Well, thank you. Um, to me, that card can represent whatever you want. She can be anything you want her to be. Yeah. 
and she can change in a in a second. We can do something else. You just never know with me. But anyways, I don't see that you guys had any um, suggestions on that one, so I might just move on and go ahead and finish that. But I want to show you guys the ones that got varnished last night. Let's bring this up. So there's our seahorse. And nobody's asked for any particular card yet, but I haven't checked my email. Um, but usually, the first one to ask is Mary, which is so cute. Mary's adorable. I'm checking really quick. I'm just going to search quickly for names. through my email just really quick. Uh, so far nobody. Okay. If you guys don't pick then I will just randomly send you one. Okay, so here is the seahorse and She's all nice and glazed. That is number five. Here's the bird. That's 14. That was a few videos ago. I think she is December's postcards that was left over. I think this is December's postcard that was left over. And that's number 15. And this one's nice and glazed. You see how it pops out? If you go back to the video where we created this one, it went dull. They all do. They all go dull. Look. You see how dull that is? It's going to brighten up. So as far as the bird that you're creating or any art that you're creating, I suggest you put some triple thick if you want to make it bright. You don't have to. Um, this one. What number was this? Number two. And then this one is number three. And Flamingo is number one. It's nice and bright now. Beautiful. And then this one here is number 11. So, in the next video, we're going to jump on in and start finishing these up. And then that way we move on to whatever videos are coming up, whatever comes to me, or if I want to continue doing postcards here. I'm not sure. We'll see. But I'll see you guys later. Thanks for taking the time to... Thank you for clicking on the video. Thanks for taking the time and commenting. Um... Maybe I can get some suggestions on that one mushroom card. This one here. I need a little help. If not, it's okay. So I'll catch you guys later. Thanks a lot. And be sure to check out all my other videos. There's over 900 videos. And I'm adding, little by little, I am adding each and every video to a marathon playlist. Where you can play my videos for hours if you wanted to. Go to sleep with me and wake up with me. Go to sleep with me and wake up with me. <laughs> okay. Thanks, guys. Talk to you later. Soft hugs. Bye-bye.